After months of free preparation and training under the guidance of three times gold medalist MJ Lee, students from the Western Cape now have the opportunity to compete in Hong Kong. So this is just an international tournament, like an international festival. 9,000 athletes, 52 countries that normally compete. And my students, juniors, 10 years, teenage girls and boys will get an opportunity as the first ever South African youth development kung fu squad that has never ever gone to Hong Kong before for this tournament. So they are going to be making history effectively. And it's going to give them an opportunity to compete against novices and beginners at their age. I'm excited. I'm very nervous for them as well. A lot of my athletes and students come from disadvantaged backgrounds, so it's been a long process and a long journey for them, not just over the last six months, but the last year, or possibly even from uh, August 2016 up until now. So a lot of the parents have been raising funds through the medium of fundraisers for the last six to eight months. We've had a lot of local entertainers who also offered up their time from Cape Town who did fundraisers. We did a lot of collective fundraisers and also some medium-sized concerns in the Western Cape and in South Africa, I want to thank them because they also decided to opt um, in favor of investing in the squad. I think the sum total of all of that is more than a year of hard work that has gone into all of this. The physical training, the fundraising, the campaigning, advertising, uh, also trying to get publicity in as far as the squad is concerned. So now they have to be ready and they have to produce the goods once we arrive in Hong Kong and we head to Kowloon. I was involved with the Progressive Principals Association and they um, were involved with MJ so they brought him to one of their functions and that is why uh, where I met him and then he said he's doing motivational talks and seeing that he comes from a disadvantaged background I thought he would be a super role model for our children and then I invited him to come do the, the motivational talk. And after that he said that he's um, prepared to do Kung Fu classes um, for free if we are interested and obviously I jumped and um, that is how we got involved with, he, with Angeline. So for the past year he's been doing Kung Fu classes at the school. The journey um, regarding the Kung Fu Day Naturals, um, the journey was smooth running there and um, but after they have been selected about um, like eight, nine months ago they were selected, then the journey started being tough because then it was fundraisers because you know the parents are obviously um, struggling also. Um, Bonteville is a, is a sub-economic area, so you can imagine the parents are struggling. So MJ Lee expressed pride for his students' journeys, and he will continue to be involved with disadvantaged youth, giving them new opportunities. Julia Custodio, Our City News.